Yo, what's up, guys? How's everybody doing tonight? So today, we're going to be taking a trip down memory lane here, and we're going to watch some OTA games from, uh, let's see, we got a range of replays from 2002 to 2008. Uh, these are some of the ones there's a lot of games that I that I wanted to download on this list but I just uh, the tatters website only some of them work so not all the links work so there's a lot of them that I didn't uh, get to download um, let's see which ones I wonder which ones we should get into first Ooh, I want to watch this one. This one's probably a... Uh, this is a CBL game, which is... Uh, I believe it's the 2v2 tournament that they had back then. N1 versus Pro. So Mean Fiddler. Uh, let's see. You guys see that? Mean Fiddler is uh, Emac. Pro Emac. And Pro Cannibal. Who's that? Is that... Tiptushi? Maybe that's Tiptushi. I'm not sure. You can probably tell by how he plays. And then we have Raster, which is Iggy and Pacer, of course. Could be a good one to start with. So let's load it up. Get the replay loaded up. All right, well, we'll see how many games we can get through tonight. I don't know how long I'll stream for, but I figured this is probably an easier way to cast them and then I can split them up and uh, upload them as casts later. One second, guys. Okay, just making sure it's showing up. Is it playing the game sound? Let's see. Yeah, it is. Make sure everything on OBS is going as planned. Making sure everything's working. I think we're okay. Um, props to uh, War Jack. He gave me uh, an idea for some soundtracks, and he recommended Mech Warrior. So hope you guys like it. All right, I've got a lot of chatter here. I think these guys are s s warping, so by talking strategies. Unfortunately, it speeds by so fast you can't even read it. So it looks like we got um, we got team. Hmm, how does this work? Is it left first right? Looks like it's left first right. So we got team N one on uh, on the right side. And then on the left side, we have Team Pro. So we got Emac and uh, Raster going for air first. And their teammates are sharing energy. So they're making extra wins uh, for their air player and sharing their energy. 
<laughs> Emacs saying it probably should have made some more wins before mix. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to have like four four or five wins up by the time the air factory starts. That way you're your air player has sufficient energy when he's starting whatever, uh, freedom fighter or bomber. Oh, both players' bombers pretty much finish at the same time at one, like one forty-seven. Emacs saying he's going to go for all bombers. Meanwhile, Iggy is going to go for an aircon, probably get some uh, missile towers up. Okay. Good pass by Raster. Also, a good pass by Emac. Now, uh. Iggy's um, Raster's got it about halfway down. Nice bombing by uh, Emac as well. But I think Iggy's actually going to get the factory here. Iggy is Raster. I don't know how that factory's still alive. Alright, let's see if... Uh, Ooh, very nice reclaim by Emac there before it dies and he gets another bomber off. That was actually very, very slick, uh, slick play from uh, Emac there. Because that factory is about to die on that next pass. So he just decided to reclaim it instead and get the bomber out. Pretty slick. And then now he can just rebuild it. Now that the Skeeters are there. Meanwhile, uh, Iggy uh, Raster is having a hard time rebuilding his mechs. He has no metal. And uh, Pacer doesn't really have any metal to share. Yeah, Emac. Emac's bombing is... Uh, I mean, both players' bombing is excellent. But uh, yeah, Emac's tearing it up right now. Pacer's saying he has two bombers, uh, but he did kill one. So now he's only got one left. Oh! Nice little dodge there. So if you turn it right before that missile hits, you can actually dodge uh, dodge the missiles from the missile turrets. Man, very nice bombing from Emac. He's... He's pretty much reset both players. Meanwhile, uh, Tiptushi has uh, been able to build freely without being bombed. So, good play from Emac. Emac saying we are so ahead. Which, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. The this little uh, thing right here blocked the missiles. Oh, oh, so close. So good bombing from Raster too. He was able to snipe that factory again by kind of uh, abusing the range of those Skeeters. Let's see if uh, Emac will switch into vehicle or. Kind of curious to see what his plan is next, or to go back air at once again. Raster finally able to get a bomb run on Tip, but he's placed his winds in a good spot to where it uh, uses the wind generators to block, to save those metal extractors. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, Team Team N1's, uh, they're on the struggle bus right now. Very good start from Team Pro here.
Raster's asking for some assistance on marking. And uh, he does have two bombers, so he could do... Uh, so one thing you can do is you can you do a run and then you do another run real quickly so they don't have time to nano block and then you can kill the, the mexes that way. Pacer's saying he's got all his shit bombed, which was, yeah, uh, those first bombers from Emac were pretty, pretty god tier. All right, so let's see what Raster can do now. Tiptushi's got a lot of anti-air though. It's gonna be hard. Oh, he does get the mexo in between the winds. Nice bombing runs from uh, from Raster, but those skeets giving him a line of sight of those bombers early, so the MTs were able to kill him before Oops. before getting any real damage done. And now here comes Emac with more bombs, and now he's got skeets here to draw the fire. So uh, Raster is actually manually targeting the bombers with that MT. Good play. <laughs> Raster's saying he's in some deep shit. Yeah, he's in a bit of trouble, but he can recover. Uh, Emacs finally switching into vehicle. I like this this switch here. I think that's going to help them pull farther ahead. Oh, nice bombing from Raster though. He cleared out all the empty, the water water uh, MTs at least over here, and he targeted those. So when you turn the sonars off, they actually give you energy. It's a cheap way to get power. Or energy. All right, so let's see. Oh, uh, Emax going back air again. So he just went vehicle to get two cons out like that, and then he's going right back in air to keep the pressure on. Meanwhile, uh, Dip Tushi has had this C all to himself, really. So he's kind of he's slowly taking all these mixes. Pacer's saying uh, tip is vehicle now, which he is, yeah. Tip's wondering what Pacer's up to. Uh, honestly, he's he's finally recovered from that those bombers early on. They were pretty brutal. Set him pretty far behind. Um So Pacer's going to reclaim his uh, vehicle factory, which does give you the full metal back. And then you can uh, use that to build whatever your next tech is, which is going to be C now. So Tips sw switched into vehicle while uh, Pacer's switching into C. So eventually he's going to get enough skeeters out to, to clear out these cons that uh, Tiptushi has. But now Tiptushi, he can harass Pacer with flashes um, pretty shortly here. As uh, Pacer doesn't really have a, a vehicle plant to, you know, make flashes of his own to fight it off. We'll see what Pacer decides. If Pacer decides to, like, DT this off and then build MTs there. That'll help out greatly. Oh, another nice run by Raster. Pretty epic bombing. Raster telling Pacer to cap those mixes. I'd agree. But I do like him getting some skeets out. He wants to 
get rid of these cons right away. Yeah, there you go. Now he's going to switch into some cons of his own. Okay. Raster slowly uh, building his his, uh, his mexes with air cons. But Emac ain't having none of that. It's going to clear basically all those out. Uh, he does need some missile turrets there if he wants to keep those protected. Honestly, sharing this con to Raster might be a pretty nice idea to help his uh, teammate out. Pacer looking around for some harassment. He's trying to find where those pesky sea cons are from Tatushi. Oh yeah, who that is? What's up, Eddie? Good voice? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Freedom. Appreciate that, man. He's actually trying to snipe the underwater mechs, but it's going to take a while. Actually, let me do this. He's actually doing... No, he's not doing any damage to it yet. So tip building a Emac some, some anti-air. Emac wants him to share it, which he does. Okay, so they're still trying to figure out where those damn sea colons are. Raster doing some good harassment in the back where uh, Tip Tushi doesn't have anti-air. Nice bomb run. So Emac's going to get C now. And it looks like Tip Tushi's also switched back into C. So I'm not looking very good for N1 right now. I have a rough start, but Pacer does have a good amount of skeets. The I'd like to see him like move these up here though. Yeah, he's not really sniping them. Oh, nothing much, man. I'm just watching some games. Oh, one sec, guys. Yeah. What the heck, Eddie? Thanks for the five gifted subs, man. I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's very nice of you, man. Oh yeah, thanks for doing this, guys. <laughs> Keep it real. All right, hold on, let me turn that on for you. Thanks. Thanks for doing this. Keep it real. Think slow. You should get through it just fine. Oh, so Pacer putting on the pressure on land here. Yeah. Hey, thanks for hooking our boy here, Freedom Up, with uh, with the sub, man. How you doing? All right, looks like let me move this guy out of the way. So Emacs building skeets now, and uh, Raster is finally in the seas, reclaimed his air. He's got one last bomber. He's trying to like, trying to snipe that aircraft plant one last time, but not. It's not going to get it this time around. 
Uh, Pacer's got a lot of skeets, but uh, Tetushi's actually he's got a decent map. Pretty even. So, Team Pro definitely ahead on the C game. Hey, thanks, Eddie. Appreciate it. Have fun at work, okay, man? Appreciate you stopping by. And uh, yeah, it was super kind of you to do that. It's always a pleasure to have Eddie up in the stream, man. He's a cool ass dude. Uh, Pacer made a Crusader. And it looks like uh, Emac has shared Tip his Skeeters. What player's building? Oh, Tip's really building up. He's still got his vehicle factory and he's just making a ton of cons. Eco on very hard. Tip's building is uh, top notch. Raster's asking him if he's if he's all right. Iggy might be in a little bit of trouble here. Very nice control from uh, Raster though, killing those bombers. Like he's tracking them perfectly. Good unit control. And uh, Emac control control Ding those. Uh, Skeeters, so they don't leave wrecks or self-destructing them. Yeah, at this rate, uh, Tetushi's gonna be real hard to deal with. He's ecoing like a madman, and there's nothing really Team N One can do about it at the moment. It seems like Raster is caught up on the sea, even though he was the last one to get the factory out. Somehow. He's a lot more active on grabbing the mexes. Is there any metal in the middle? Oh, there isn't. This feels this feels so out of place, like there's like nothing here to <laughs> just throw like some mexes there or something. Tushi asking if he needs some assistance. Uh, Emac's got a nice surround here, but so he's gonna pick up some skeets. He does push that con away from getting that mech, so. Two Crusaders out for Pacer. Oh, and Pacer switched into Pels already. Wow, I didn't even notice. So uh, he does have Pels on the way. Could it be troublesome for uh, Tip Tushi. Good micro there from Pacer, not not letting his Crusaders get surrounded there. So the ideal C composition you want is uh, Pelicans and Crusaders starting out because uh, the Pels pretty much counter the Skeeters, which is all Skeeters are really made for is their fodder. Okay, they're fodder for the Crusaders. You use them to jam up units so the Crusaders can kill them. But... If you can catch the Crusaders alone with Skeeters, uh, the Skeeters will do quite well against them. So you gotta protect them. That's why you need. You also need Skeeters with your Crusaders or Pelicans. Now Pelicans, they deal with the Skeeters because uh, the Skeeters actually can't, they can't hit them with their missiles. Um, so they, they're basically a direct counter to the Skeeter. Uh, which also means Pacer's going to get all this reclaim here. I, even though, actually, Tip Tushi's trying to steal some. But I think Pacer's onto that. Yep. And he's going to 
to take out that car, but he's going to get one more wreck. Whoop. Well, let's see what's going on at the top here. Pretty even skeeter numbers for both players. He thinks Pacer shared him some skeeters. I'm not sure if he did or not. Tip's got the most eco by far, but uh, Pacer's making good moves, getting advanced a lot sooner. And Pels. Um, Tetushi might actually be in a little bit of trouble here, but there's a guardian that's up that can help fight against the, the sea. He's trying to build this to push uh, Pacer away. Very many small boats. Yeah, the small boats, those are Skeeters. They're basically like a scout boat, but uh, you use them as like fodder for the bigger boats, uh, the destroyers, which are these Crusaders here. So you use these to, you put these in front and then you have your Crusaders in the back. And these Crusaders, they have uh, death charges so they can kill these uh, underwater mexes, which clears out some of Tiptushi's eco. Okay, good micro from Pacer here. Uh, a little scary for Tiptushi, to be honest. And Raster's doing a good job putting on the pressure as well up top. So it went from a very good start for Team Pro to uh, a little bit, a little bit scary situation here. But um, looks like Tetushi's making a Roach Bomb. So you get a Atlas and you put the Invader in it, and you send that in and you self-destruct it, and it does a huge explosion and it does a lot of damage. So it's like a big AOE bomb. Wow, Pacer's really crushing it here. Curious to see... Yeah, he's just full units on his... Uh, not really echoing, just committing everything to aggression. Meanwhile, uh, Emac and Iggy up top. Seems like they got a nice, pretty even fight. I'd say Emac has a little bit more, so he can see if he keeps pushing forward here. Oh, I just heard a ro Oh, that was a juicy roach bomb. Remember all those Pels? They're all gone now. Emac's asking Tip if he's all right. Yeah, Emacs definitely uh, got a nice strong push here. And honestly, that Roach Bomb saved him. That's a nice Roach Bomb. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I got to see it. Oh, Emacs doing a nice job here. He's he, see if he can surround that Crusader. I see nothing's protecting this Crusader. It's gonna die uh, without any of these skeets to protect it. Raster's asking for help. He's in trouble, and uh, looks like Pacer's gonna move towards uh, Emac now. So here comes the flank. The flank is coming, which is going to leave a lot of wrecks right on uh, Raster's doorstep here. It's got these water empties in a good spot. It's going to protect all this uh, metal here. Oh yeah, 
this is not looking good for uh, Emac now. So now uh, Raster has all this reclaim under control and he can kind of snowball that. Meanwhile, tip two, she's still building like an absolute madman. Look at all this. It's got Pels out and he's starting to reclaim. Probably be a good idea to share some metal to his teammate. And uh, Raster using those air cons to get that reclaim. Looks like things have settled down for more. It looks like Tip Tushi's building more eco. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, the sonars, you turn them off, they actually give you a little bit of energy. Because uh, some maps, the titles, they don't give you enough energy to make them worth for their metal costs. So you build sonars instead. Nice little harassment here by Tip Tushi. He's going to snipe that con. Good pickup. That's a good pick off right there. Now uh, Pacer's reacting to that, pulling his Pelicans back. And good move by Pacer. He's gonna repair all of his Crusaders up with that con there. And he's still killing Mexes. Pretty epic game here. Hope to see Looks like uh, Pacer is planning on ecoing up a little bit. He's got the Moho Metalmaker on the way. It's probably going to spark that pretty soon, which means he's going to shoot it with one of these uh, missile units, which makes it uh, active. Nice little harassment here from Pacer. Seems like we've come to a little bit of a stalemate now. Hitushi trying to get some cons out to get all this metal. And it looks like Emac's gonna go down south towards Pacer. Trying to be a good idea. If he can catch these Crusaders by themselves, they will die. See how they get, they get surrounded. Good move by uh, Emac there, but it's gonna have to turn around now. And now uh, Raster is coming to help. He doesn't have a lot of Skeeters. Oh, I hear bombers. So Emac is off-screening these. Nice move from Emac here. There's no, uh, not really. Oh, oh my God, that hurts. Oh. <laughs> oh, he did snipe this advance bot up here. Perfect. And he took out the Geo. So that's definitely going to hurt Pacer quite a bit. And now they're double teaming Emac here, and uh, he's requesting for some help. Honestly, Tip doesn't really have too much to help. And now he's really, he's gonna start pumping out Crusaders real fast. So as long as Emac lives here, they're probably gonna be all right. Very good unit control from the N1s. Oh, nice Roach Bomb. Gets, gets a couple. 
It's like three or four pills there. Tip likes his roach bombs. They are strong. And he's building a bunch more. There's not a lot of anti-air with this army, so it could, it could do some damage. Emac is holding on. And uh, honestly, with some time, Tip Tushi can probably hold them both off. Because he's just so far ahead on economy. Like, look at his resources. 4,000. Like, everybody else is below 1k energy. Emac just building missile turrets to just... He's just trying to stay alive here. Ooh, I don't know. This is rough here, though. A nice double team from the N1 guys. Oh, here come two Roach Bombs. He's sending in one. Ah, but yeah. Good positioning with the Skeeters there from Raster. It's, uh, they were able to shoot, shoot the Roach Bomb down before it self-destructs. Boom! It gets a couple there. Does good damage on that, but I need more than that. I think if Tip Tushi can just group his units up for a little bit, he just needs time uh, to gather his army. Just look at look at this. He's going to start outbuilding them, both of them. Raster's starting to make economy now. He's going to mass winds and metal makers, and he's going for Pels now. Team uh, N1 is, they're, they're pretty reliant on the reclaim right now. Uh, but they do have the edge. As uh, Emacs kind of uh, out of the game at, at the moment. He's It'll take a while for him to recover from all that damage he took in that double team. So Tip Tushi's going to have to fight these guys two-on-one -on -one for a little bit. Crusaders are surrounded. Not good. Yeah, N1 is really snowballing this. They're really starting to get a big number of Crusaders here. And Pellels. Oh, Tatushi makes advanced shipyard. I'm curious what he's going to make with that. Oh, he reclaimed it. <laughs> he reclaimed it just in time, so it didn't get killed. Very nice move there from Tip. Alright, so here comes N1. They're pushing down together. Very good teamwork uh, from, from N1 here. And uh, Raster's got his advanced K-Bot up now. Meanwhile, Emac is he's still trying to rebuild, get his maxes recapped. And he is getting some reclaim now, so that could help speed up his uh, recovery. Uh, this is a tall order for Tip Tushi to uh, fight 2v1 here.
But Tip's got Hawks. And he's building more. He's got two more factories on the way. Pacer's got an insane army, but he is right. He doesn't have much actual economy. They're really relying on these wrecks, and Pacer is going into advance there now, too. I don't know. This is going to be hard to stop. But he is building guardians on the shore, which could help against these crusaders. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want to get calm sniped. Uh-oh. I can't switch back to the original. Here we go. Rasser heading back up towards Emac. <laughs> Tip 2, she's like, wait, I got Hawks. Oh, here comes Pacer with uh, all these Rockos. It's finally sending them in. Very nice unit control from Pacer. So he's using these Rockos to absorb the missile turret fire. And then he's going to send his Crusaders in. They also give him vision for the Crusaders. And then he's using Pels over here to harass at the top. But one thing is... Pacer doesn't have any anti-air <laughs> for these Crusaders. Should probably try to switch into Skeeters. Let's take a look at the top here. Just trying to keep uh, Emac from not not being able to do much. Oh, this, can Tip hold this? Tip might be able to hold this. Clears out the... Ooh, he lost a lot of Hoxo with that, those Pels. Yeah, I think... I think Tip Tushi's in trouble, guys. Yeah, red team's losing. What's up, Mad Rat? I think Team, team Pro's in trouble. So Emac's asking for some energy, pretty much. He wants him to turn off some metal makers so he can have some energy. Now uh, Raster's investing in some land. He's got Rocco's of his own, so he's going to push, use these Rocco's to give his Crusaders vision. And he also has Pels on the way. And he's building up a nice little economy of his own now with some, uh, and some wins. I can't see Team N1 losing this at the moment, but uh, never say never. Pacer switching into Hawks, but he doesn't really have any Farks on it just yet. Uh, you do want these Farks are really good build power. Um, will help pump out those Hawks really fast.
All right, so here come the Rockos. He's pushing in. So it looks like Pacers pretty much killed everything that's in range for the Crusaders. Unless he parks them right here, he can probably kill some of this, like this area, which he's doing now. But Emacs got Pels out now. Two factories of Pels. So if he can kill Raster's army here and get that reclaim, he can possibly fight back here. Emax using his comm to zone out the storm or the the Rockos. Ooh, a nice flank from Emax. Yeah, these these Crusaders are toast. Oh wait, but the Rockos are helping. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I actually thought those Pels were going to do a lot more. Oh, here comes Emacs coming up to D-Gun, though. Yeah, very good teamwork by blue team. Although it's not over yet, they're still they're fighting back. Looks like uh, Green is pushing. Uh, he's pushing Raster back now. So we might have to see. Uh, Pacer come at up here and help help Raster out, which will give Tiptushi some time to rebuild. He's telling Pacer to try to finish the game. Hmm. Yeah, maybe some Jethro's to deal with the Hawks. And it can help him give him land vision and help with the Hawks. Although they're not, I don't think they're as good in OT as they are in Protea. So he's going to use this Guardian to try to get this shore back under his control. He moved by Pacer here, trying to send uh, Husey. He's going for the Geo. Should be able to kill the Guardian. Is it in range? It is. Yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be hard for her. I don't see how Tip recovers here. I think it's too far gone. Yeah, Pacer's got his own Hawks now, and he's trying to build up his own economy. Not looking so good for Team Pro. Yeah, I think once Pacer gets his Hawks over here, it's... Saying if hawks don't appear, which there are some now.
Uh, Mad Rat, I don't know. Tritons, tritons are not a good idea. This is uh, OTA, not Protea. <laughs> tritons are not very good in uh, OTA. This is a game from 2005? Maybe even later, but yeah. N1 definitely has the advantage, and they are working on... Uh, so now they're using the reclaim that they're getting to build resources as well. Emac is microing these Pels really well, but he does have Hawks of his own. Yeah, so basically whoever gets the reclaim here is probably going to win. Uh, what does Raster have? Raster is making a fusion. I like how he's kind of keeping all of his units next to the Rockos so they can help fight against the sea. Oh, here comes Tip. He's pushing in with the Hawks. But here comes uh, Pacer with his. Oh, but his are all clustered up. Oh, spread them out. There he goes. He spreads them out. And uh, Tip Tushi smartly retreats. Honestly, he could go, I think the play here is if Pacer sends his Hawks up to the top and assists Raster, I think that is the way to end the game. Oh, he might actually get that advanced air. Hey, what's up, guys? Yes, definitely a trip down memory. Some OTA games. Where do you want the resource bar? Move the resource bar, so... <laughs> Raster says I'm losing. Hurry up. What can Pacer do to break him here? He's building Rockos, but... Honestly, I think if he just sends some of his navy to help Rastro out, and also just sends us... I think they should double-team Emac here. If they double-team Emac, I think that's the way to win. I feel like uh, Pacer's army is missing Pels. So right now his Crusaders, his Crusaders just need vision. And they could probably kill a decent amount of this stuff. They just don't have any vision. So maybe just like a constant stream of peepers. Any carriers for hawk repair? Um, can you see the resource bar now? Where should I put it? Where do you want it? Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, I don't see any carriers yet, but it looks like Pacer is working on it right now. He's got an advanced shipyard going up. Uh, Emac is... He's got three advanced laps up. going to be working on Pels here pretty soon. Emac doing a very good job working with what he's got. Like, I don't know, his recovery, that was pretty, a uh, pretty top tier play, to be honest. Because he really, they really, they, when they double teamed him, he really didn't have anything left. So, for him to come back like that, and now he's kind of like, he's actually winning this top fight. Pretty impressive.
it just shows the like the power of like reclaim man just getting these wrecks is it's you really need to fight for them it's just a lot of free metal sitting there hmm tip making roaches now just look at this All right, so Pacer's switching into conks now, which have more range than these Crusaders. So I think he's thinking that's the way he finishes this. It's a lot of Pels. Also, the Rex, these Pel Rex block the Pelicans from, you can't, the Pelicans can't move through them. So yeah, see, this land push just really doesn't do much for the Hawks. Yeah, Rasser's is in a bit of trouble here. These Hawks are becoming very troublesome. He's got a lot of bells. And he's just going to be reclaiming behind it. Like, he's got his air cons there reclaiming. Rasser says, I'm losing. But I, this is a nice back and forth game. It was going a lot better when Team N1 was working together. Mac doing a great job here, cutting these units off so they can't retreat. Ah, the Rocco's are killing a lot of the Pels though. <laughs> He's doing a good job. He's ground firing these, by the way. So he's like manually attacking. So they hit the pills. <laughs> oh, it looks like Tibtushi uh, misclicked his... Uh, his hawks there. He's gonna build a big Bertha now. I think he's building this to fight off the the sea here. Okay, so he's building archers now. So we got one conch, conquer here, and some archers. Let's take a look at, let's just look at bases right now. So this is Pacer's base. That's pretty much all he has, to be honest. It's, it's this. He's struggling. He needs, he, he needs to scale his economy. I think making some Colossus would be good. So he can make some more metal makers. Rast are doing a good job at going, but uh, he's losing the fight here on the front. So here's Raster's base. And we got Emacs base. Building a fusion in the back. And then here's Tip's base. And uh, Tip's actually using a decoy com to get the reclaim out here. Pretty smart. And it's crazy how Emac came back so strongly in this game. 
actually kind of blows my mind. <laughs> I think uh, better building from Team Pro. But um, no, it's not over yet now. Uh, uh, Pacer's got Guardian on on the front here. Let's take a look at the top here. Raster finally building some hawks now, so he should be able to even this fight out, I think, no longer time goes on. Check totals. So yeah, honestly, the metal income between like teams is pretty even. Oh, this is this is gonna be brutal right here. Good move by Tip. So Pacer needs to come over here and help Raster deal with this, which he's uh, sending in his Hawks. Oh, but they're grouped up. Oh, honestly, he should have committed there. I think. We've got some good. Oh, but he is now. Okay, now Pacer's doing the same. So clears out all of those wins. So nice harassment back. I mean, only he killed a bunch of sonars, which was a good amount of E, but most of his E is in these fusions now. So not the worst damage towards Raster there. But definitely hurts. Tip's going for it. Uh. Ooh. All right, so Tip comes out on top there with that. I'm just, I'm in shock that Tip is, base is still here. Needs his Crusaders here. And then those Pels. Uh, if he had some Pels, he could see all this stuff and then he'd be able to kill it. Or just some Scouts. I feel like some of this stuff is in Crusader range, right? Let's see. Okay, he's got so many Crusaders. Grass are really starting to get a bit of trouble here. Good unit control from uh, Emac. He's spreading out all of his Pels. He doesn't need Amphibious. He needs Pels. Pels are good in OTA. Those Tritons, the Tritons are not good. They're a lot different in um, in Pro TA than they are in uh, 3.1. I believe they're like way slower in the water. There we go. So Pacer's finally putting these Crusaders up on the shore here. Yes. It's 
So now if he just kind of sends these Rockos right over here. I should give him the vision he needs to clear out all this stuff here. Honestly, a, a big Bertha from Pacer would have been really good too. Like somewhere around here. Rasser's got three three hawk factories up. Emacs made a full recovery. I only got one hawk. Uh, one advanced there. Jeez, what a game this turned out to be. <laughs> it's an epic, epic game. Tip asking for some help. Yeah, these Crusaders are really starting to... Really starting to bully uh, Tip's base now. But he does have flagships. There are flagships in there. Yeah, you agree, Madman? I think a, a big Bertha would definitely help uh, help Team N1 here finish clearing out this stuff. And those flagships killed a bunch of Hawks. Rasser does get the advanced air from Tip. All right, this is not looking good for Tip anymore. I think this is the end. But Emacs, he's still alive, and he's he's gonna try to help. Uh, he's gonna try to help Tip here. He's sending his army down. Tip's stuck in this little corner, man. Oh yeah, they just have too much too much hawks at this point. They won the air war, and uh, I think this is going to be the nail in the coffin. Yeah, once that fusion's dead, it's. Ooh. Oh wait, but here come the Pels. I think this is like the last ditch effort to save Tip here. But uh, I think Pacer's just too big now. Yeah, he's got Fusions, Colossus. And Raster's got a big eco now, too. Oh. Well, I mean, Emacs kind of... Killing everything off here. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way Tip comes back from this. Oh, yeah, it looks like uh, Pacer's probably going to clean up the rest of those Hawks. And now Raster's sending his in to help.
Well. What does Emac do now? Oh, I like this. Where is Calm? <laughs> I think the Calm Snipe is probably the only way they can even this game out here. Emac's telling him to cloak, uh, but they, they found his Calm. Oh, no. But they lost a lot of their Hawks with that, so... Let's see if Emac can get a Calm Snipe. I think that's what he's going to go for here. I mean, if he can kill one of them, he has a chance. Let's see, are any of them available? Oops, control calm. So, Raster's in the water. Now, where's Pacer? He's also in the water. So, it'll be very hard to spot them. Is he making torp? He does have one torp bomber. <laughs> Emacs is damn you, damn you, man. Hell of a game, guys. That was a hell of a game. So back and forth. That's. Oh, Pace are trying to get a HLT up super quick. Oh. They see his calm. Let's see if they. Does he snipe it? And Emacs tapping out, says GG, so looks like Team N1 will take it. Dude, awesome game. Awesome, awesome, awesome game. That was pretty... What a back and forth game that was. That was pretty sick. What a fight. Yeah, see, they're just they're just too big now. The uh, they finally turned their reclaim into resources, and they're just absolutely huge now. Very good building from Raster here. Yeah, uh, they almost uh, they almost lost that I think at one point, and then they brought it back. It's very back and forth. Like it looked good for Pro at the start. Then it started looking really good for N1, and then Pro was starting to push back once again, so then Pro had looked like they're gonna come back again, and then and then they were able to close it out with the Hawks. So epic game, GG's, look at that. Pretty epic game. Ooh boy, my throat hurts. Yep, finished strong at the end there. So N1 perseveres. Good night, Mad Rat. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, hanging out. So yeah, let's see. Oh, they're already playing a game. Darn. All right. Well, if you enjoyed that game um, and you want to think, you know, you're thinking about playing, uh, you could join us on TA Forever, which is the multiplayer client that we play on now. I mean, if that game doesn't want to make you play TA, I don't know what game will. That was pretty badass.
What happened to the music? Oh. YouTube is... Are you still watching? It's like, what is this, Netflix? <laughs> Unity and compassion. What's up, bud? Oh, looks like my uh, cast is uploaded. So I'll be, uh, I got a video that's going to be, uh, I, mean, I guess I could premiere it now, but I had it scheduled to upload at five o'clock. Um, five o'clock tomorrow morning. So when you guys wake up or later on today, it, you'll have a cast to watch later of an OTA game. What is this? Let's see, let's just go to the chat. Let's see, Menton said something. Oh, they're talking about their tourney games. So apparently they're, it's not a set to best of five, it's set to best of three. So they got to get that fixed. Um, there is a possible game to be played, but let's see. There's 16 minutes in. It's probably not going to end anytime soon. They are doing a free for all. So you guys want to watch that? Or do we watch another OTA game? Mm. I'll lower the bit rate just a tad. Just to make sure my, my stream doesn't get like drop frames. Oh, you're in the game, Unity? Is this, uh, is, it, is that you, Stagma? Oh, honestly, my throat hurts from talking. I've been casting, I casted two games earlier and then I casted that game and they were all like long, they were all pretty long games. Oh, it's Ark, what's up Ark? What are you doing here? You should be in there owning. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm about to watch your game, I think. So let me make sure this is showing up. Oh, they're playing, I thought they're playing Go 2. Okay, you guys are just playing Gods of War. So five, uh, a five way free for all on Gods of War. And let's say, let's take a look at our players. We got Cool Nick, we got Stagma Jr., an absolute beast. Gorthin45, not sure who he is, but seems pretty solid. Um, for just, at least he's, has been playing on Taff for too long, so. I don't know what his uh, multiplayer history is on TA. Knob Gobbler, um, very strong up and comer player. Sagma actually is going air for her, so he's going to be bombing people. Cool Nick doing a. Uh, 
getting all the rich mixes. I like that. The bomber is on the way from Stagma. I don't need to pay attention. They're all scrubs. True. You are Tag Ark, of course. An absolute god. A beast. A total annihilation prodigy. You snooze, you lose. All right, so the first bomber is out from Stagma. I could fast forward to the live part, but then I feel like I'm just cheating for Ark because he's going to be listening. <laughs> and he does bomb cool Nick first. Uh, an absolute bully, Stagma. Let's move these resource bars up here. Oh, and he does retreat with his bomber, so now he's gonna go share the love and head towards uh, Ark. Ark's already Russian Pels. What a Chad. Build your MTs, guys. Come on, come on. At least one or two. How many times I gotta say this? You guys are so damn greedy. <laughs> oh, at least Nod built one. But he went C first. He's rushing a. He's rushing an enforcer. So he's going to be trying to bully somebody pretty soon here. Nobody built anti air. <laughs> so Stagma, Stagma just gets free reign on everybody's base. Nobody wants to build MTs. <laughs> Stagma says he's made enemies. Yes, you have, my friend. So yeah, uh, Stagma pretty much got free reign on everybody's base, at least for a little bit. Hurt everybody's economy. So we got... I do like Gorth and Sea uh, Star here is, I think... All right, on this island. As you don't really have much land to really build much with the land cons anyways. So. The only downside is he's going to have to... If he keeps getting bombed, he's going to have to keep coming over here with his commander and rebuilding these. So. Maybe like rushing one con would be pretty nice. And then going straight to sea afterwards. Oh, that's a free D-gun for Gorthan. Oh, no. D-gun it. Gorthan! What are you doing? You just let that live. Oh, my goodness. Cool Nick, building up like the mad lad he is. Farming those wind generators. It's gonna be rushing for those uh, moho mines pretty soon here. Oh. Stagma bombing the, the titles.
Anti-air, guys. Where's the anti-air? Come on, knob. It's like, uh, you know, you want to be greedy and not build MTs because you think you're saving metal when you build less of them, but like he's doing so much more damage than it needs than he needs to. If he just built a couple more MTs, he'd keep all this eco safe. It's better to just build them than to be stingy. Stop being stingy, knob. Build those missile towers. There you go. You got at least one there. Probably want another one, to be honest. Is Uh, one's, one's not enough. <laughs> Stagma already getting gat guns out. He's probably expecting Coolnick to have 20 pels by now. Which, uh, I mean, you know, not far off. So he's just sending the enforcer in. Uh, doesn't have anything to screen for it though. These enforcers aren't as tanky as you might think. Um, yeah, he's already half health. He's gonna have to. Didn't even shoot. That's kind of weird. <laughs> His scouting cruiser. Stagma already on top of it. Nice radar targeting. Oh, okay. He pulls that away. Arc fo focusing on the Moho mines, which is good. It's going to further his economy, and looks like Koenig's doing the same thing. His whole... He doesn't have any room to build anything already. So yeah, once he gets the Moho mines up, then he can kind of switch into sea and build sea resources after that. And then he can probably start reclaiming these winds um, slowly. And then get whatever his next tech's gonna be. Looks like he's going into Markies, so he's planning on turning these Markies off, and which gives them energy. Gorthon, I do I like his strat here. He's gonna go rush advance C. Honestly, I would love to see a warlord. I want to see like warlord and um, hydras. They're kind of sick. So, Stagma, switching into Advanced K-Bot. I'm going to get some Gimps, probably. Cool Nick's just really focusing on Eco right now until somebody, like, tries to attack him, then he'll pump out pills. So, just fully concentrate on economy. Looks like Knob is starting to do the same. Hopefully he repairs this Enforcer. And Stagma's going to get an air con. Curious to see. It looks like he's reclaiming. I think he is reclaiming this. So I think he's going to get this air con out and then reclaim the factory to get this uh, advanced lab out.
so he has this air con for advanced air later and to you know still reclaim and stuff yeah so he's reclaiming it now A moment of silence. Nobody's really uh, making any aggressive moves. <laughs> no, I was saying buzzsaw nearly in completion. Epic. Stagma wants to apologize in advance, probably for, you know, bombing, being a bully. Oh, Coolnick's going to go for a big Bertha. I like this, actually. I'm actually curious how far this toaster will reach. I'm actually curious if it, it might actually be able to hit some of Cool Nick's stuff on the island. We'll see. Although, Stagma doesn't, um, he needs metal though. <laughs> nope. Ark doing classic Ark things. Building his favorite unit in the game, the Pelican. Honestly, it's probably a lot of people's favorite unit. It's just, uh, I don't know, something about it, man, you know? Just look at him. They're versatile, they're strong, they're fun to use. So Ark plans on bullying somebody pretty soon here. So yeah, there's Cool Nick. He's reclaiming, uh, reclaiming the winds like I was talking about. Ah, but going advanced air. I like this. He's gonna get advanced con, and then he can build his Moho mines that way. Good moves. Yes, Hydras. We're gonna see Hydras from Gorthon. I'm a little worried for him though, as he uh, doesn't really have much to fight against Pels. He needs an HLT. Definitely needs an HLT, but I, I love seeing the Hydras here. I want to see him in action. And honestly, it's a good... Since it's a free-for-all, I think it could be pretty good. And he doesn't really have to like leave his base for them to be useful. As uh, they got a lot of range. Oh, so Stagma was able to finish the toaster. Doesn't look like it's going to reach anything, unfortunately. But he's he's waiting for Cool Nick to build. He's probably expecting a crap ton of Pels. Hark's asking who's tan. I mean, Gorthon's looking pretty huge over here. And uh, honestly, Nob's got a nice economy now. Pretty scary, to be honest. He's definitely has the best economy in the game. 
It's a lot of titles. But Koenig's got this big Bertha and it's nearly done. And honestly, nobody really has anything to deal with that. Nob's got a couple bombers, bro. And Arcs uh, is going to rush a fusion now. Yeah, I mean, if you've ever played with Arc, this dude loves making Pels, so. You can't expect anything. Oh, and they're all headed, they're headed towards Stagma. Oh, looks like Ark's going to get some revenge from earlier. <laughs> I don't even know what those are. Uh-huh, sure you don't. Sure you don't, Ark. You monster. And uh, Cool Nick's also shooting at Stagma, so Stagma's getting the double team. The sandwich. A turkey provolone. Let's see, are they still playing? Yeah, they're still going. That is a lot of pills. <laughs> Kohonek laughing because he's just he's just kind of watching this whole thing unfold with his peepers. <laughs> and Stagma is loading himself up in the Atlas. Or the Valkyrie, sorry. And he's flying towards Cool Nick. Well, uh. oh, the comm explosion's smaller in Protea, so um, was able to pick him off before getting Cool Nick. <laughs> in OTA, that might have killed him. Look what you did, Ark. He made Stagma kill himself. In game. In game. Ark's just an absolute bully, man. Well, now that Stagma's gone, Kulnik's got to look for a new target. And it looks like it's going to be Knob. Well, here comes, uh, okay, Nob's stacking up the bombers. I don't know if that's enough, though. He's got uh, fortification walls, which are very good against T1 bombers. But uh, a nice little trick, if you bomb a little bit behind the Big Bertha, more bombs will hit it. So we'll see if Nob does that. Or if he comes in right through here where this little gap is, that could he could kill it. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> oh no. I'm not. Uh, I didn't see nothing. <laughs> I, I didn't see anything, dude. <laughs> Oh yes, the warlord. How come these hydras ain't doing nothing? I want to see these firing. Come on, Gorthan, put those to use. Okay. Ark making a nice move here. Building air cons to steal this island. I like it.
Oh, looks like Nob's getting the sandwich now. Although, Gorthon's being nice and he's not trying to bully Nob at all. Nob's trying to build a nuke. Uh, I mean... I guess you gotta try to build something to deal with this, but... <laughs> Oh, it looks like Kulnik is, too. Oh, that's a lot of enforcers, though. I didn't see those. Um, oh, yeah, you better run. Run, Nick, run. All right, Kulnik. You got to use those that BB to kill the enforcers. I think Nick's okay here with the ambusher. Nicely holded by uh, cool Nick there. Where's this BB shooting? Let's see how many kills he's got. 21 so far. Not bad. And he's... Yeah, now he's targeting the big group of Pels. <laughs> Stag was saying both of you should be ashamed of yourselves. I agree. Poor Ark is just an absolute bully. So, Kulnik's got two ambushers up now, which, uh, that should be plenty to deal with these, uh, enforcers now. Oh, he's building roaches. Honestly, he could probably just, <laughs> probably just walk these up on Ark Shore. <laughs> You know, one thing I haven't really seen, honestly, anybody really do is just, well, I've seen it a couple times, but not as much as you think. It's just somebody just walking these underwater towards something and self-destructing them there. Like, he could sneak something, like, if he snuck one back here and just got it, like, right here, he'd blow up, like, half these titles. be kind of funny. So Gorthin going for some sneaky plays here with the with the roaches. I like it. He's kind of setting up like a perimeter. All right, cool Nick's nuke is up. Knobs is about halfway, but he's on constant fire under this BB. So now see that's what a big Bertha should look like right there. Bigger footprint. Was he shooting at the comm? Oh, he is shooting at the comm. Oh my god, knob. Knob. Wake up, man. Look at your comm health. Yeah, Kulnik's just in full turtle mode. He's just turtling. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, see, you can't even get like a warlord over close enough because of the, the big Bertha. Meanwhile, Ark taking the aisle for free. Ark, please, if you're listening, build some sea. You can do it, man, I believe. You're gonna love the end, oh boy. You guys, is the game over? How far am I from the end? How could you bully Stagma like that, man? You know, Stagma was just trying to have some fun with the bomber. You just like straight up ended his life, man. You know, there's a difference. <laughs> yeah, here we go, some Leviathans. I like the way Gorthan thinks, man. Oh, he's got an Intimidator up too. What the hell? The hell is it looking at? <laughs> no anti-air. Nob, where's your anti-air, man? <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't look. Fifteen minutes? Oh, boy. Oh, all right. Well, here, here he goes. YOLO. <laughs> well, Nob's army got completely slaughtered. Uh, it's funny. So, more uh, metal for Cool Nick now. He's got about... Got about uh, 4,200 on his doorstep. Yeah, I feel bad for Nob. He's kind of like just stuck in his little corner and he can't really build much because of the, the big Bertha. So he can't really build the stuff that he needs to kill it, like warlords or bombers or anything. Oh, here comes the nuke. Let's see what Nick chooses to target here. Ooh. Juicy. And I think, I, I believe it takes two nukes to kill a commander in Protier. Oh, the nuke's up. I mean, if he actually gets a nuke, if Nob actually gets this nuke off, launches it like right here, he kills like, oh, 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 Gorthin, oh my. Oh my God, is he gonna get the big Bertha? It has more range. Oh man, Coolnik's gonna be pissed. Come on, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for the boom. Oh, it's vetting up. Let's see, is 
Is his birth in range? I don't think it is. He has it marked, but... Oh my god. He's getting close. It's vetting up. 15 kills already, wow. And we're seeing some seaplanes. Oh man, this Gorthon guy's a Chad, dude. Absolute Chad. Oh, he kills his nuke. Oh, man. <laughs> you brought everyone here. Oh, no. Why'd you do that? <laughs> oh, Kolnick's kind of in a pickle here. Because Gorthon's Timmy can reach and uh, his... I believe cannot reach all the way over here, so. Koenig's got a problem. Meanwhile, what's Ark doing? Oh, just building an anti-nuke, building up. And uh, Nob has his, his nuke is up. I'm kind of curious, can you see the progress? No, you can't. Oh, but. He must be launching it. Let's go. All right, Stagma, this one's for you, man. Oh, I, th I thought he just launched it at himself for a second. <laughs> Woo, damn. Okay, Knob. He one shot him. All right, so the, the, the big birth explosion definitely helped with that. Nice. <laughs> Arc ruined me. Ark's making his move. The killer that he is. Tag Ark. Oh, here comes Gorthon. Gorthon's going to join the fight, too. Wait, what just happened? Oh, my God. Wait, did Gorthon just snipe him? What happened there? <laughs> oh my god Gorthon's ready bro What a beast Yeah, I think I think Gorthin killed him with this intimidator. Maybe he blew up he blew up the nuke. Yeah, one or the other. I didn't I didn't see it though. Well, Ark, what do you do now? Oh my God, you're building sea resources. No way. Hello, Joe. my dog Joey uh, I think he's very sleepy and he wants to leave because I'm talking here one second let me take care of my dog I'll be right back
All right. I'm back. Damn, you're in trouble, Ark. Gorthan basically has everything to counter your strategy, which is Pels. And he's got seaplanes. Absolute Chad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, your fusions are... I wonder if you saw that. Oh, I just thought you were about to dig on your own fusion. <laughs> that was close. Gorthan comes out on top. Hell yeah. He's pretty, he's the newest player here, right? That was a pretty sick game. <laughs> that was a pretty sick game, guys. I enjoyed that. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. Oh man. Oh my voice. My voice. Hey, thanks cool Nick. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Everybody had such different uh strategies. It was kind of pretty cool to watch. Uh poor Stagma though, man. You guys why'd you guys bully him so hard? He just wanted to play, man. He just wanted to play. Yeah. Nice win, Gorthan. <clears throat> That's what you get for bombing us first. Yeah. True, true. Yeah, bombing in a free for all. That's how you make enemies real quick. <laughs> yeah, true. You've angered the TA gods. Tag arc, by the way, guys. The newest edition. Hey, what's up, Scuff? Brendan F Fraser. Man, that's a long name. You got a long name. What's up, man? So when somebody... Can you guys see the... Between... Um, so I think I have it set up so you can see the Twitch chat and YouTube at the same time. Can you guys see what YouTube's typing? And vice versa. Why does the music keep turning off? Yes, I'm still watching it. God, YouTube. All right, perfect. That's what I want. Thanks, Nob. <laughs> I'm pretty much famous. Mom! I'm on TV. All right, let's do it. I'll play one. So we got a little bit of uh, we got to cast a pretty epic OTA game and a pretty sick free for all in pro OTA, and now we'll play a live game. I missed T. Well, come play, man. Come play. Come join us. We play on uh, this client called TA Forever. 
should pop up in Google. You just type TA Forever. Uh, it should be the first thing that pops up. Let's see. Yeah. Just go to this website, download the client, make an account. We're always looking for, uh, you know, we need players to play the game. So the more people, the merrier. Um, most people play modded TA nowadays, though. There's pro TA, there's Escalation, Mayhem, Twilight. Nobody really plays OTA anymore. But it is, it's always fun to go back and watch some of those old games. Yeah, I hope to see you on there. Um, and if you need help, uh, I believe the new client uh, has a installer on it. So it'll install the mods for you. It has like an auto installer on it. Oh. Hey, thanks for the follow, Fraser. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'll play Corda. So yeah, if you're uh you're interested in playing, um I do have a video. If you go through my channel, I have a TAF and uh Protier setup video which should it should be able to help you uh it'll guide you through the setup on uh, how to set the mod up and how to get the client working so um if you want to check that out uh could help you out getting it set up and uh if you use discord if you use discord at all you could join the ta universe discord and just message somebody on there they'll there's plenty I like I I can help you on my free time if you'd like. Shit, I gotta pee. New clan last arc. <laughs> What's that game? Lost Ark? There you go. <laughs> Pell Ark. Yeah, that's the perfect clan for you, Ark. All right.
Nick for the win. Let's go. All right, this is probably not going to go that well, but we'll see.
let's, let's go over there. What happened to my music?
Oh, I didn't build sluices, did I? GG boys. <laughs> what a shit so. Hey, no problem, Sky. Let's see. Sorry, I can't really read the chat when I'm uh, playing. Uh, I don't have two monitors. I have to, like, read it off my phone, and it's, like, super small text, so I can't really, like, focus on it while I'm playing. Um, but let's see what you guys said here. Cave Dog would have been happy to see their baby still being played. True, man. Hey, what's up, Ven? Oh, shit, camera and chat upgrades? Hell yeah. What an absolute hoss of a base. Fuck yeah, dude. What a shit show. Fun though. Yep. Yeah. That's TA in, TA in a nutshell right there. God, I'm losing my voice, guys. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> too much casting and just honestly just too much talking. Oh. All right, let's see what everybody else is uh <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I felt like my bomber did a lot. My bomb, my first bomber did a lot of damage. The Pell Master got out pelled. Did the Pell Master actually? Did Ark? Did you make any pells that game? But yeah, GG guys, that was fun. Ugh, I'm pretty burned out though. I won't lie. Um, I do have a cast that's going to be uh, available to watch pretty soon here. I scheduled it for 5 o'clock, but I guess I could just like release it now. Because fuck it, why not? Do I want to play more? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have it in me. <clears throat> My voice is so shot. 
But I uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys being here. Hanging out with me. Enjoying the TA content. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I need to make some food and get ready for bed, I think. All right, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it, guys. Um, it's been fun. I had a lot of fun uh, casting those games and obviously playing. Playing was fun. I haven't played a game in in about a week, week or two, so it's kind of nice to just play one. Yeah, no problem, guys. Glad you were able to stream a live. Yeah. So if you guys are if any of you are interested in playing um, TA, there's a client called TA Forever. Uh, you just go to taforever.com. Uh, there's a big download button at the top right. Just click that and download the client and come say what's up. We can help you with the setup and everything. If you, uh, yeah, you know, if you're interested. If any of those games made you interested in playing. But. Watching's always good too. Yeah. So I kept playing. Oh, I, I went through the whole soundtrack. That's why it stopped playing. Gotcha. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good night. Um, I will be splitting these. Uh, I'll have some timestamps so you can go straight to the games that you want to watch. So I casted two games and then played one. So I'll make sure to timestamp right when those games start. So you, it's uh, easy for you guys to find it where when the games actually start. So you don't have to watch all the other random stuff in between. If just, it's mostly it's just me setting up stuff. So take care. Have a good night or morning or afternoon, whatever. See you next time.